Today, Cisco and Red Hat introduced a new feature that simplifies the deployment of OpenShift clusters on bare metal Cisco UCS servers. We're doing this by bringing the power of Cisco Intersight directly to the OpenShift administrator. Now, as you know, Cisco Intersight is our SaaS management platform for managing your servers. And Red Hat Hybrid Cloud Console is a SaaS management platform for deploying OpenShift clusters on those servers. Now, by integrating both SaaS platforms, we're able to fully automate the deployment of bare metal OpenShift clusters. And the good part is OpenShift administrators can just use the Red Hat tools that they are familiar with and still benefit from the power of Intersight. Now, as an OpenShift administrator, you're probably familiar with the OpenShift Assisted Installer. It is the most recent best and recommended installer for deploying OpenShift clusters. And I have to say, it is pretty good. There is no need to read a 100-page installation document. You just launch the installer, keep all the defaults, enter the absolute minimum required inputs, and you will have a successful installation. However, there is one manual step, and it's when you need to add your host to the installer, you have to boot them from a discovery ISO. This means that you have to connect to the BMC of your server, and that is something that the hybrid cloud console cannot do, but Cisco Intersight can. You then need to mount the ISO and you need to boot the server from it. And you have to repeat that for each server. Now, with the new integration between Cisco and Red Hat, we have fully automated those steps for you, making the entire installation fully automated. It's quite a simple integration, but it will have a significant impact on customers that need to deploy large clusters. So let's take a look. On the Hybrid Cloud Console, you go to OpenShift, and then you go to Create a Cluster. You select the Data Center, and then you create a cluster in the Data Center. There you provide a name and a domain name, and this is the Assisted Installer, and we're just gonna go with a lot of the defaults. We're not gonna do much customizations. We create a DHCP cluster. We're not gonna deploy any operators for now. Now we're getting to the step where we're going to add host to our installer. And you can configure an SSH key or the proxy settings for the discovery ISO. And then after you click on generate ISO, you can see all the steps which are required for adding that host to your installer. You have to download the discovery ISO, you have to mount it on the virtual media, and then you have to put your servers from it. Well, instead of doing all of that, there is this amazing option to add the hosts from Cisco Intersight. When you click on it, it will cross launch into Cisco Intersight. Now I'm already logged in and it's gonna bring me directly to a workflow execution page. You can see that the URL to boot the service from is already filled in. As you can see, the URL is hosted on openshift.com and you need to have a direct internet connectivity to the internet in order to reach it. And I'm saying direct because Unfortunately, we do not support proxies for our virtual media mounts. Now, the only step you have to do is select the servers that you want to boot from that discovery ISO. You click on servers, you select the ones that you want to use, and when you click save, you can now go ahead and execute the workflow. After the workflow is executed, you can monitor the progress by clicking on the workflow info link. And there you can see all the tasks that the workflow is going to, and it will create a sub workflow for each server that it's executing on. You can see on the left hand side that I have three targets. And when I click on one of these targets, you can connect to the KVM of the server to monitor the progress of the workflow. You can see that the ISO is currently mounted within the virtual media and it, when it's going to reboot, you can see the progress of the reboot here. After the server is rebooted, we can start to see the host showing up in the assisted installer, and we can continue the installation from there. Within the assisted installer, you can view some properties of the servers, and on the next step, you can configure the storage, you can configure the networking, and finally, after you have provided all the required inputs, you can kick off the installation and the installation will finish till the end. 
I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you would like more information, you can find a tutorial on this installation process documented on intersite.com help.